Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and here I am interviewing Louisa Hamachek, uh, anti-nuke activist since I've known her for the, at least the last 10 years, and she is a plethora of information swirling around in her head. She's the one who did that awesome, awesome map that Kevin has shown on his videos many times. So she wants to talk about uh, an activity that she's involved in now and give us some information. So uh, Lou, say hi. Hi. And so, let me ask you some questions. What I'll let you run this show. What would you like to talk about? I'd like to talk about a can of worms, which is about the migrating fish and how they carry radiation, possibly. I'd like to open up the can of worms for discussion for others to respond on that. Possibly. They definitely carry radiation. Let's just cut the crap. Let's just be real. They live and breathe in the radiated water. They're carrying radiated nuclides, right? So, I'm talking about the Mackenzie River fish that are here in Eugene, which is not in the Columbia River mainstream, but is a tributary, a small, beautiful, pristine river that people come from all over the world and the country to go fishing up the Mackenzie that comes down out of the Cascades into Eugene. Here, let and me show them this little map here while you can keep talking. Yeah, okay. And, out, and on this map is the Mackenzie River coming down um, into Eugene, which is right at that bend. And then it goes to Portland, and at Portland it joins with the main chunk of the Columbia, which is carrying all the uh, radioactive um, materials that have leaked from Hanford and that are still leaking from Hanford and that are going to leak in the future. But there's been lots of radioactive uh, waste from the bomb making at Hanford that has gone into the river. There's an operating nuclear power plant that is at Hanford. And in the bomb making days, they used to run the cooling waters directly as the river through seven nuclear power plants without a secondary system. So it made a lot of things radioactive back then. They've gotten better, and there's only one remaining operating nuclear power plant nuclear reactor there where it used to have all the bomb making reactors mm -hmm. and so I'm not talking about um, what I am talking about is that um, they dumped to the side of the uh, these factories they put nuclear waste right into the dirt telling the workers that it would dissolve it would break it down and it would be okay over time right. they said it would take a thousand years for that pit thrown nuclear waste to, from the bomb making to reach the Columbia River. Are you talking about the 40 miles of unlined trenches that Bechtel did? No. Oh my god, so this is something separate? Um, yes. There's huh. um, millions of gallons of uh, nuclear waste in tanks. There's also next to the um, each of the factories was a dump site and each of the factories had reactors and parts of the nuclear bomb making there. And they were right alongside the river so they could use the cooling water of the river. And they left it as the Hanford National Wildlife Refuge so that they could... So now it's the only undammed, unwarm, unswill, kind of like a pond, a lake, part of the Columbia River in America now because the rest have had dams on them of the main chunk. The only white water on the Columbia River in America is surrounding Hanford and that was merely to keep the water cool so they could dump their stuff into it and let it get away from them and it wouldn't amass in a pool right next to them with a dam below it but they've called it a national wildlife refuge they won't let me in there with my canoe um, and to go check it out but at any rate um, um, Columbia River Keepers has taken tours and other uh, Hanford Challenge took people out there in boats to where the salmon are spawning in the Columbia River um, it's the only place they can spawn in the main trunk. They otherwise have to go up tributaries to cool waters that are shady and nice. And, um, and so this is the only place. And evidently at this point you can see the nuclear waste is coming up next to the Reds. It's taken 40 years, not a thousand years, to reach the Columbia River. They had it totally wrong. And um, so it is, as of last year, been gurgling out next to these salmon Reds. The red, R-E-D-D, -D, is the name of a, about four feet across salmon uh, nest. And they swish it, the girl with their tail, and makes this thing. And next to it and all around with our last remaining Columbia River uh, genetic natural native fish population, it is being changed by the radiation next to it, as we know mutants will come out of that. So our last genetic stock is being uh, tampered with this way. Now these fish take a year to get down to the ocean 
And it, when they're born, if they're not totally screwed up, they'll be heading down like all these other salmon, migrating salmon and things in the trout family. Um, they face up river, they eat all they can of materials as they head down river, swishing with their tails so they don't go too fast. And they make it all the way down to uh, Portland, and then past Portland they get to um, Astoria. And once they're in Astoria, they stay at the, um, the place you were talking about, at the bar, at the mouth of the Columbia River in Astoria. They stay there for um, half a year, sometimes a year until they are good and strong, having eaten a lot of food. And they're trying to get big and strong so they won't be eaten out in the ocean. The bigger fish eat the smaller fish, always. And it's bioaccumulating of the heavy metals and this material goes into their body and will get more dense, more thicker of radioactive heavy metal toxic materials in their, f in their fat. And it will end in their bones. Strontium goes in the bones. And um, cesium and different um, materials, but there's uranium, and the big thing is there's plutonium in this goo. There's pieces of plutonium that were part of the bomb making waste, and in the um, tanks that are leaking at Hanford that are known to be leaking, that are single walled tanks that they put the dangerous high level radioactive waste in, that's been leaking, and they haven't stopped the leaks. They've only stopped a few of them. They say, oh, we just found out, but they knew about it 10 years ago, 20 years ago when I started researching this. They knew about it. They pretended in the news that they just found out last summer so they could get a, a go on it. The 90% rule. Yeah. And um, anyways, um, the can of worms that I'm opening up is that we need to know whether the Mackenzie River fish um, are bearing uh, radioactive ion, uh, materials in their flesh. Because the way fish work is that they um, go out to see these salmon for a couple of years and then they come back and they wait around at the mouth of the Columbia till uh, like the autumn uh, they can actually smell their own stream has erped forth with snow melt and it's time and they can taste their own stream in the Columbia River mouth and it's time to go up river then and so they start going up and um, but while they're waiting there they're eating more radioactive baby fish um, that have been coming down the Columbia so they spend all their time between Astoria, I mean between Portland and Astoria in the Columbia River waste of Hanford. And besides Hanford, farther up river in Idaho is the Idaho Navy Idaho. Nuclear Laboratories in Idaho Falls, just above Idaho Falls. So that has also added to what's in the Columbia River. But at any rate, just talking about Hanford, that's the deal. And so um, uh, the can of worms I'm saying is that all the tributaries of the Columbia River, the Spokane River, and we're on the Willamette River, big, wonderful agricultural river, um, these fish will go spawning and then die after they spawn. When they make it up the Mackenzie, they will die after they've had babies. Of course, we wonder about their babies, but they will lay their eggs, put them in the um, red, push some nice gravel over it, and fade away and be happy that they've had their lives and they'll die. They go up and wash up against the shore and their flesh is then eaten by bugs, smaller fish eating them, uh, the eagles, the birds, everything. It's, it builds up, all the bugs eat it and the bugs are eaten by everything else. And it used to be so stinky with dead fish up that Lewis and Clark couldn't even find a place to park their canoe because there were so many sockeye salmon dying after their thing, which is natural for them to die. Who do you think should be doing this testing? I think up at, uh, in Richland is our country's most finest radiation testing laboratory, the Northwest uh, Nuclear Labs. I, let's see, it's called um, Northwest Nuclear Labs. I think so. It's it's run by I think Bechtel, and yeah, it's probably. and it's at Hanford and it's underground like four floors underground. It's meant to be the place that when our country has had a really bad nuclear accident, um, that's where they will stay in their lab and tell the rest of the country and the government how much radiation is out there. But they're going to be deep down in there, and so. So how do we get them to get this testing? I mean, what action should we take to get the testing no. done? Um, what we need Sorry, to do is get good. our Congress. Um, Obama should do it, but I don't know how to make him do anything. But I have. Um, <laughs> Neither does anybody else. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> um, and he's you know, ordered up Except all the, the corporations with big fat checks and a big payload for him. But right. 
So I say we should go to Ron our Wyden. Senate, uh, yes, our our Congress people, our senators, and our representatives. So DeFazio, Merkley, and Wyden in this neck of the woods. And in Washington, senators. Patty Murray and um, what's her name? Patty Murray and the other one. What's her name? It's uh, I don't remember actually. I, don't I know. remember her name. But a, and in every district, the representatives are important because. I need this to be that uh, residents of this area. So about the testing, <laughs> the testing <laughs> of the fish is uh, what needs to get done and uh, the Mackenzie River Watershed Council and then there's the Oregon Watershed Enhancement Board. They are the um, state of Oregon's uh, watershed protection. Are they pushing to get this tested? No, I just am opening this can of worms. I brought it to two public hearings of Hanford. Um, and they go, whoop, and I accuse the Department of Energy of doing this. I accuse the Department of Energy because they're the managers of Hanford. And they're and not testing any fish, any animals, to no. be clear. They're not as testing for anything. As far as I know, anything. nobody said, oh, we've gotten this tested. And so that's the kind of I mean, really, because this is the thing. Like, uh, one of the things I constantly talk about is all these tests, like the guy from Woodhole in Massachusetts, they only talk about cesium. They never talk about strontium. They never test for strontium. They never test for plutonium. Yeah, and plutonium is... Far well, more dangerous. Yeah, it's from the bombs. It wasn't around. Actually, they found some actual native plutonium in Africa or something, but pretty much they thought plutonium was only made by right. humans. So one speck will kill you as it touches you. It will then move wow. on and kill everything it touches. Wow. It will keep going. As soon as it touches you, you're dead. Okay, so I want to get this on camera, Lou, one final thing before we close out. I would like to interview you at least once every couple of weeks. I know you're not in town all the time. Mm -hmm. So when you come into town, I want you to call me so that we can interview and we can pull some more information out of your brain about radiation because you know a lot about it. Yeah. Don't you have a nuclear website, something called... Nuke Info Project Northwest. And um, it's just getting remade right now, and I can't tell you the exact one, which is terrible, but I will get it to you, Lonnie, okay. in a moment. I have to call this guy who's making the website. Okay, so, so the website's not up, so all the information's in your head. Uh, yeah, and it's Which the map means that we need to do interviews a okay. lot more. And let me tell you about the website. Okay. But I was thinking you would um, cut it and I could do a different thing. Okay, then I'll cut it. Okay, YouTubers, we'll talk to you in a minute. Ciao.